Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry and Mowers and Blowers. So I just came back from a trade. Uh, you know that um, Craftsman Edger that I just uh, fixed, you know, by cleaning the points on the Magneto? Well, I uh, actually sold it to a guy for $30, and he gave me his Troy-built lawnmower with bagger. That's right. I had it listed for 50 I had a lot of takers, actually. But a guy was going to give me 30 bucks and a lawnmower that's perfectly running? Troy built Honda motor. I'll take that deal any day. So that worked out well. Um, he says it doesn't have any gas in it, but I'm gonna put some gas and see if it works. Looks like it's in good shape, you know. Has the uh, mulcher. Um, uh, what do they call that? Plug. Mulcher plug. Yeah. Well, I just uh, tried the pull start a few times. Doesn't work. Fuel cutoff switch. I did both this way and that way doesn't start shot a spray of that and it started for a second and then stopped so there's also a fuel leak here gonna have to fix that and then figure out why fuel is not getting in there so I just changed the fuel line and it still doesn't start and I'm gonna remove the uh, carburetor by taking off these two bolts that bolt right there to get the uh, air cleaner cover off. At least Honda uses the same bolts for everything. So that makes it a lot easier. Not like Briggs or Come say they have like 12 different types of sizes. Man, that's a long one, huh? Holy I remember these Honda motors are a pain because um, once this comes off, um, breather hose. Once this comes off, the whole carburetor comes off, but it's a pain to put the carburetor back on. That's what I remember. And it's really on there. The pull. See, this uh, trade didn't work out as great as I expected because I wanted to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But here I am doing something. So, this carburetor looks kind of dirty, man. I gotta use two hands. Had to remove this bracket so it was easier to get to the carburetor. This bracket just went on right there. Like that. With that bolt. And it just came off, just like that. So uh, there's no fuel coming out because I put the fuel cut off on. So now no fuel comes out. Right? Disengage this from the fuel input right there. Here's the auto choke. And I believe it's uh, 10 millimeters throughout, you know, all these bolts, 10 millimeter. Comes right out. i take the bowl off now. Little dirty, but not really bad. I mean, that's some yucky gas in there, though, too. So I'm going to blow out the uh, holes here and put it back together again. Just remove the uh, float, and I'm going to take that jet out in there. I use a special screwdriver to get that jet out. I usually always strip that. To get that jet out, you usually need one of these screwdrivers. Has that kind of a head. That was pretty easy. It's a pain to get this little part out though. It has the inclination of wanting to go back in. There you go. Ooh. You see that blob of black stuff there? I'm gonna blow that out. I was talking about that yucky thing right there. Just came out of that hole. I've cleaned that little jet nut. Put it back in there nicely. Everything else is blown out. All the holes. Here. That hole there. That hole in there. Okay. Throttle plate washed inside there. 
through a hole in there. That one's good. It's a pretty clean carburetor now. Now the bowl. Some sediment in there and old, old gas. Clean. Abracadabra. Boom! I'm going to put it all back together again and put it back on. To put this on, you have to put the cover on first, then take the screw and, and find your way through the carburetor to that part there, to that hole. So you ha it's one long one that goes all the way through, so you have to match it up, match the holes up perfectly. Same goes with this. So, uh, it's tough, you know? But, <sighs> looks good now. So I just uh, shined it up a little bit <laughs> with the excess gas that's leaked out, you know? Hey, clean your shit, you know what I'm saying? Going to turn on the fuel now. See if it leaks. Hope it doesn't leak. I'm going to let it sit for about a minute or two and then I'm going to give it a pull. Let it sit for a bit. No leaks. Very clean. I'm going to give it a pull now. Moment of truth. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. it was a good deal after all. I mean, I wish I didn't have to clean the carburetor, but, you know, I feel better that it, you know, that I did clean the carburetor. And, uh, you know, it's pretty clean. Look at that. Filter's clean. It's good to sell. You know what? I'm going to sell this for like 150 maybe 175 Because, A, it's a Honda motor, you know. It's a uh, rear-wheel drive. Oh, wait a minute, you know, I never tested that. I'm going to test it now. that I got weaseled self propulsion doesn't work so now I gotta address that what a pain I gotta flip this over on its uh, side well of course it's not going to work the bloody belt wasn't attached to the pulley well, I'm gonna just reach my hand in here and stick it around the pulley. Hopefully I can reach. Okay, I think I did it. strong. I mean, 
strongest I've ever felt. I mean, it almost pulled me forward. All right, I'm very, very impressed. Um, I uh, changed the uh, fuel line, cleaned the carburetor, and uh, put the belt back onto the uh, pulley. So now this thing's ready to go, man. I'm going to sell this for 175 See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Follow me on Instagram, guys, at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. Thanks for subscribing and your support. See you guys next time.